This is exactly what I was looking for in this arc. This is what makes Shogogeki so great. These surprises, these twists and turns. Don't know if the author thought, okay, I need to add someone or something to make this turn around and make the situation better, but he has done it. And this chapter has left me exceedingly, exceedingly happy. And like today, it comes out early last week it, it came out on sunday i didn't review it that day i think but this chapter coming out on thursday is epic you like you guys have no idea how i feel of how happy i am that this chapter is making so much sense and how it goes with everything like i was wondering about this and i actually I was going to make a video about the parents of Irina. Like, that was something that I was going to be doing. And now I have to, like, redo this because of this new information. Like, I didn't want to put this out until, like, after this chapter. And I, me, my friends uh, that I've talked to, uh, we have always thought that Asami was going to come back of some sort. And I didn't think he was going to come back in this chapter or in this fashion. I'm very pleased. And... I haven't even gotten to the review, guys, and I do apologize, but, like, I'm literally just finishing reading this chapter, and I am just blown away. I had to read it, like, twice, just to make sure I wasn't making it up, or I wasn't seeing things that I was, you know, thinking that I, like, false illusions, let's put it like that. But this chapter, I, I guys, I should have just recorded my live reaction to this, because this would have been so much better. But anyway, let's get into it. So, the chapter begins with... Asami having all the judges chase their food and almost like they're taking a break because of how much they've eaten and how they ate because they were content These guys were full. They were happy mana Seemed to be content as well. We haven't really heard her speak, you know on that We did see her stripping everyone and that was something that was you know uh, You know amazing in itself and it was funny because even the people that were working there were prepared they were ready to like give everyone like some like bathrobes and whatnot and it was just kind of funny but and we see Edina who's like this guy can really be the one to make moms happy again like make her you know enjoy food again and we have sent someone who's still talking to her and while we have uh, out of nowhere Alice and uh, Arato coming back which honestly was a great surprise they were actually on a mission and i was like a mission like what 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 were they up to you know and it makes sense that these two are the ones that go after you know in doing this mission and they bring back asami like that in itself was a shock like asami isn't the same asami anymore it looks like he i'm not gonna say he's turned over a new leaf i hate that i, I almost want to admit that but he's not himself anymore. He is not the demon that we saw in the previous arc. He's not that same character. He is more mellowed out. He seems to be more of a kind of relaxed soul. I put it like that. And he's like, I, I don't belong here. I don't have the right to be. And, you know, it was just kind of crazy to see him again. And, you know, was very surprised to see firstly Alice and Arato to come and then her father but then we get the backstory behind it all like how and this is something I always wanted to know honestly I really wanted to know what made Asami uh, go as far as he did and it makes so much sense now it it you know with Juichiro it was a woman that mellowed him out and uh, and with having Asami it was no different and it was it's one of the most weirdest love stories, but it's so much like Soma and Adina. Now, what do I mean by that? I'll get to the story now. We have, uh, excuse me, Nakamura. Let's go with that name, his, uh, his uh, real name. Nakamura was upset that Asahi, that uh, Juichiro left, which we all know uh, from the anime and the manga. Um, and he was pretty much losing interest in cooking. He went and tried different places to cook. He just didn't have that passion. And he just comes across uh, Mana, who is like this really strict 
you know, I guess teacher, let's put it like that, who was probably the same age as him and was a possessor of the God Tongue. He does know, like, the backstory of it. He does hear about, you know, her abilities and all that. But he continuously challenges her, basically, like, to try her food. And, like, he never, she never says it was delicious, which was something that also was with Adina. But I'll get to that in a second. But with Asami, like, he kept trying and trying to, like, making dishes. And to a point to where it almost probably became, like, a relationship with these two. And then we see that Adina is born. And we do kind of see how Asami starts to realize that with the possession of the god tongue there's been so much hell going on like no one is actually truly happy and she becomes like this really tired person uh, exhausted and probably just couldn't handle some of the food because it was probably nasty in her palate even though it may not have been in general and so we see how he actually develops a plan uh, the plan that we saw the true gourmet plan and that was what he was trying to go with totski like he was trying to form a super school of the most elite people and of course he did this with the intention to save edina and mana like he didn't want them to go through what at, with mana he wanted to save her and with edina who i thought was really cute as a child again like she was making food and not once did her mom ever say it was great. I'm I'm not saying that Edina had to contribute to the fact that Ed, Mana felt you know ill and whatnot, but of course a mom's always gonna want to taste what their child makes in this circumstance. And Edina was a prodigy at her age, and so you know I'm sure she tried to make her feel good. But this is why we have him, you know, going through these crazy, 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 like situations when it comes to having to try to make the perfect school and i remember like i was being one of the people where it was given asami hell for what he was doing i'm not gonna deny that and his plan did seem wrong you know but now i'm not saying that it's justified like his his plan was not a just a you know justifiable reason in my opinion he he had a motive and we understand it truly now what that was but like i said i don't think it was truly truly a uh, a, a just reason to be doing everything that he did and i'm glad he was taken down but he even says you know i didn't i wasn't able to save anyone not even a single soul and so he does maybe feel some kind of regret uh, so that's not something i'm doubting but now he sees Asa uh, asahi as the possible winner but then that chapter ends with Joichiro saying, are you even sure about that? Which I thought, you know, he's talking about Soma. Like, Soma is a, a great possibility. But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. This chapter has been super hype. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>